pull-ups versus chin-ups. So similar, yet different from each other. In short, pull-ups use the pronated or overhand grip, that means the palms are facing away from you, while chin-ups use a supinated or underhand grip, where the palms are facing towards you. Which of both exercises do you prefer? Write it down in the comments below. First of all, let's start with the similarities. Obviously, both are vertical pulls. In both variations, you start with pulling your shoulder blades down. Both engage your traps, rhomboids, lats and your delts, especially the posterior delts. You can say that the back muscle engagement is roughly similar, but not 100%, more to that in a second. Both are also engaging your arm muscles a lot. There are bigger differences in the activation of the biceps and the brachioradialis, but when it comes to the brachialis, the engagement is, I would say, more or less similar. And lastly, both exercises are excellent basics to master calisthenic skills like for example the muscle-up, the one-arm pull-up, and they are highly beneficial for any other calisthenic skill you want to learn. That were the similarities, but more interestingly, what are the differences? When it comes to pull-ups, you actually have much less biceps activation, but therefore the brachioradialis, the muscle in your forearm, is much more engaged. On the other hand, the chin-up is perfect for biceps growth. Especially when you use the full range of motion, which I highly recommend, your biceps is fully engaged. By the way, if you're doing biceps curls from time to time, check out this video to get the most out of them and to maximize your gains. For beginners, the chin-up is usually slightly easier because you additionally use your biceps for flexion, while during pull-ups much more latissimus strength is required. You can see that very well when using rings. You almost automatically pull your palms inwards. It's simply easier for your body. But take care, elbow and wrist pain are often problems with chin-ups. Especially when using weights, it might be that you overstretch your arms and kind of jump into your joints and that's of course not very healthy. Putting away the focus on the arms, one main difference between these two is the activation of the posterior and anterior chain muscles. Actually super simple, the posterior chain includes the muscles of your backside, like glutes, lats, scapular retractors and the rotator cuff muscles. And it's better to train the lower traps. You also have a much stronger activation of the erector spinae, a very deep back muscle close to your spine, while the anterior chain represents the muscles of the front side, like for example the pecs, abs and quads. Then there is also the so-called neutral grip. This is basically just a mix of both. Your arm muscles and your anterior and posterior chain are more or less equally engaged. Also a great exercise which I can just recommend. In summary, you want bigger arms and chest, go for chin-ups. You want a wider back, go for pull-ups. But never forget, a healthy balance is always necessary. Lastly, a couple of quick tips. First of all, make time holds. You basically hold the position at the highest and lowest point for a couple of seconds. Tip number two, make use of eccentric movements. Focusing on eccentric movements, that means on the lengthening of the muscle, leads to a higher activation of the muscle cells and therefore to greater gains. Tip number three, very important, always add variations. Never stick to only pull-ups or only chin-ups, if possible, add even your own variations, like that you will profit the most. If you need some pull-up variations, check out this video. And the last tip, use additional weight. More weight will tear your muscle cells apart and you will gain strength and muscle mass faster. If done correctly, of course, with proper nutrition. And that's already it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe for more videos, stay tuned, stay healthy and see you in the next video.